What is up guys, Mr. The Reverts here, welcome back to the channel. Ladies and gentlemen, Black Ops Cold War has now officially passed its first ever weekend release and since then I've hit first prestige in the game so today I want to talk to you guys about my overall thoughts so far within Black Ops Cold War, discuss some future updates to come, and then of course show off the prestige a little bit more. So let's go ahead and check out the first ever episode in our Road to Prestige for Season 1. First things first, y'all might start and be heading closer and closer to prestiging within Black Ops Cold War due to double XP weekend, which by the way has been extended until Tuesday. So we do got about two days left to really start grinding out those last couple of levels to prestige level one. So for prestiging, you earn a sticker and the emblem plus a prestige key. But then you see at the bottom of the screen right here, you don't earn this Nightfall weapon blueprint until reaching season level 50 for season one. So we got to wait until the start of season one to come out to do that. But now what you see here is the progression tab. And this is going to look very, very different come season one. Of course, redesigned with the new prestige shop which is where we can unlock new rewards for prestiging the game by using our prestige key tokens. And again, we do have a total of three prestiges that you can get right now in season one by playing multiplayer or zombies. Also, if you're wondering, you do not lose your stats, weapons, literally nothing gets reset after progressing, which is a very different from the traditional prestige system that we all know from previous Call of Duty games. However, Treyarch did state that they really wanted to keep some of the original ideas from the prestige system but still kind of make it unique in its own way. And I guess this is one of those unique ways. So here is my KD ratio for Prestige level one. I am very, very shocked. I've been able to maintain a 2.0 KD ratio throughout Prestige level one. Haven't done that in a super really long time in Call of Duty, but I don't know about y'all if this happens for different studio design games, but for whatever reason, I am just better at Treyarch games than anything else. Again, I don't know why, but I can actually play this game compared to Modern Warfare because in that game, I struggled so hard with going on kill streaks, heck even getting like more than two kills alive and it really made me question if the 11 years I've put into Call of Duty was really all for nothing but yeah in this game I can actually play and I've had my fair share of super bad games don't get me wrong especially when I'm playing solo I absolutely cannot play this game solo or alone because of how sweaty some of these games get so I do got to play with the team and I've been playing with the full team most of the time for Prestige 1. But now, if you are feeling bad about your KD ratio, don't worry because there are even a professional Call of Duty players, again, that get paid yearly to, you know, play Call of Duty and they're struggling to get a 2.0 KD. They're even struggling to get a really good KD in this game. Um, I've had some, you know, pretty bad games, again, don't get me wrong, but, you know, those lobbies are very far and few in between but when it comes to playing with the team i can just be at the top of the lobby in almost all of those games so again i don't know what it is with chair games but yeah i i won't question it any further i am kind of bummed out with my win loss ratio but i'm gonna try harder to focus on bringing that up so yeah, that's what we're working with right now. Also, when you prestige, something that is bugged right now is the progression level because right now at the time of this screenshot, it says I am level two in the game, but my actual level progress says it's six. So again, what you see in the game may not be accurate for you when you prestige. And to really check what your actual level is, you gotta wait until after the game and check the bottom of the action progress. So I assume that will get fixed with the newest update, which Tony Flame stated over on Twitter, that's either gonna come in season one or possibly sooner. So maybe in the next few weeks here, we're gonna be getting a pretty nice balancing update for some of the guns and score streaks. One of the weapons though that definitely needs to be looked at is the MP5K. That submachine gun literally shreds through anything and it's the root of all players problems right now i think the damage range on it needs to be looked at for sure um the m16 is also an absolutely monster um, those two guns are the most overpowered guns of the game right now and then of course everyone gets them at the very start of the game so yeah hopefully we can see some adjustments on those two weapons but then for one last bug gripe that i have is with crossplay. i seem to cannot join anybody that's on a different system than me other than the playstation network and that does seem to be happening with a lot of other players as well. And again, hopefully that can get looked at within this next update. But as for my weekend review, so far the game is amazingly positive. I haven't enjoyed the start of a Call of Duty game this much since I believe Black Ops 3, I think. And I truly just wish there was more content to be played because 
releasing only eight maps, and a couple of those maps were ones we've played and seen before from Combined Arms in the beta, but you know, they've been scaled down to a smaller version to fit the 6v6 map, so it does kind of feel like a new map, but it's still something that we've seen before. Um, again, I just kind of wish there were more new maps, more content overall, but the rumor is we're going to be getting at least two to three new maps a season, which if that's the case, honestly, I can live with a few weeks to a month of low content for this month. Also, though, on the 24th, we're going to be getting Nuketown, and yeah, maybe that new update could roll out next week then, who knows. Um, but yeah, the launch of the game is smooth. Definitely the biggest complaint I have, though, is the weapons meta. And then, of course, the lack of content. But other than that, Black Ops Cold War is a lot of fun. Um, I may be in the minority, though, when I say that. But this is honestly my review, guys. I'm going to be playing a bit more and wait to make my final decision. But I can tell you right now, this is one of the better Call of Duty games that I've played. And a much better experience than with Modern Warfare I had last year. Again, I could not do anything in that game. But in Black Ops Cold War, for some reason, I am just shredding people i don't know what it is i don't know what it is about Treyarch games but I i'm just better at them than infinity ward games um so yeah definitely have been having a very very good time um for half of my progression though throughout prestige one has been played with multiplayer and then zombies zombies is a very very good way to earn xp so if you guys just strictly play multiplayer after playing you know your sessions of that Switch over to Zombies, give it a try, because again, you can earn so much XP by playing Zombies. I may do like a multiplayer's guide to Zombies and ranking up sometime in the near future, because Zombies in this game is just so, so simple. I'm pretty sure my 65-year-old parents could play this game and figure out how to pack a punch and learn how to play Zombies. So I love how smooth the transition is coming from multiplayer to Zombies this year, and just how friendly it is to those players who want to take a break from multiplayer relax, play some zombies while still earning some XP and progress to prestiging. There is just so much content with Call of Duty this year and we haven't even scratched the surface yet because there's still Warzone Season 1 coming out in December too so in my opinion it's looking like a very very good year for Call of Duty. But please tell me your thoughts down below in the comments. What are your thoughts about Black Ops Cold War? Are you having a good time, a bad time? Again, please tell me what you think down below in the comments. Thanks for watching. If you guys want to see more, feel free to subscribe and click the bell icon so you can't miss out on a single video. Also, feel free to come hang out with me in my Discord server, Twitch stream, and over on Twitter. Links can be found down below. I love you guys so, so much. Have a great rest of the day. Till next time, I'll see you guys later.